Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about tantric sex and vital sex and the topic for this video is how to reject a sexual invitation. We are talking about your ability to say no and set up very clear boundaries. You are not interested in sharing any form of intimacy with someone. You don't have to go and play and uh, accommodate that person okay it is your body it is your right to say no so i'm going to give you some elegant ways to actually reject without necessarily hurting the person but uh, so that you have a few you know a few tricks on how to uh, position yourself the first tip is be clear no i'm not interested in being sensual with you or being sexual with you is that okay can you respect that okay so being very direct in the way you communicate is one very clear uh, way to get your message through another one is to be firm firm is in the intention you don't need to be soft with the person you can be firm and uh, firm means that there is a certain uh, intention and strength in the way you communicate no, it's not going to happen. This is being firm. Uh, a third tip is to be consistent. And consistent means that if you give that person a message one day, and then you shift that version and you give him another message, then eventually he's not necessarily going to be, he or she are not going to be necessarily clear about um what your intention is you know they might get the feeling that you are playing with them that you're manipulating them or that you are uh, you don't know what you want so that might give them the the open the door for them to keep on insisting so very often for someone to be educated and get a message they need to hear the same message maybe four five six seven times I know that's a lot of work <laughs> But, um, you know, it can, be, it can be really simple. It's like, no, it's not going to happen. The following day, it's the same message, and the, the message stays consistently. You know what? Yeah, I really like you. Um, the following day, no, I don't like you. Uh, actually, yeah, I feel some sexual attraction. You know, it's like very often um, people will get very confused by mixed messages. And this is very often the, the number one reason why somebody will keep on insisting. If you go on a date with somebody, and um, during that date, you are both, um, you know, physical, engaging, non-engaging, and then you pull back, and then they go like, what are you doing? What's, what's the deal here? I don't understand you, because one moment you're extremely open, and then you shut down. So they feel that you are maybe playing games, that you're not being very consistent with, uh, with your approach. So being consistent is a very important one. The fourth one is uh, be respectful, you know, somebody that uh, who asks you out or who wants to be intimate with you is a human being and uh, you don't have to abuse them publicly and uh, reject them in ways that are extremely humiliating. So um, you can stay, stay kind with that person unless that person is extremely, you know, pushy or demanding or uh, might become a bit aggressive then yes of course you can you know you can match or overpower their energy level and, and add more more intensity to the way you communicate but very often it's like just a gentle no might be might be enough you don't have to abuse somebody because they ask you out okay that's very important so along the same line it's be honoring of actually what the person is saying when um, imagine that you're a woman and this guy comes to you and says you know what I think you are really attractive i have been noticing you around and i would love to get to know you better uh would you like to come on a date with me and uh, if you have no intention of going out with that person then you know you don't have to to reject them and be super uh blunt in the way you do it you can say wow i'm really touched by the fact that you like me it's it's a gift that you're giving me right now it's like a guy coming with a bunch of roses and giving you this bunch of roses so honoring that gift that the person is giving you is a, is a good place where to start thank you thank you for asking me out so having gratitude for the intention uh you know honoring also the fact that it might take lots of courage to come and ask you out 
So that's that's another element to keep it, to keep in mind. And this is for both you know men and and women. Guys, if you have a woman coming to you and uh, being interested in you, uh, just honor the fact that she took the step and came to to talk to you. Even if you're not interested in her, you don't have to just you know reject her or ignore her. And uh, this is true for uh, in live situations, but it's nowadays you might get messages like that on on facebook or text messages so of course if it's a pattern that repeats itself and you are getting a little bit tired of for instance men asking you out or women coming after you and then uh, yes after a while ignoring simply the those messages might be your best uh, survival tactic but very often you know uh, just a, a gentle acknowledgement of the fact that it's an actual gift when somebody comes and asks you out uh, might be a good, uh, good thing. That way it's going to come more into your life. Um, there's much more to say about that, you know, boundaries and respect and uh, how to establish uh, strong boundaries in your own life. I'll be back soon with more tips on that.